What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr. We getting this thing going this morning. I'm not going to be long here at all. Y'all know what we doing is tell the truth Tuesday. is talk to me Tuesday. And y'all know what we've been doing this week. Yeah, I'm coming for you, brothers. The power of a man, faith, family, finance, and future. So the soul of a man. Uh, these are what we're coming for. We're talking about the miseducation. You see that the miseducation of manhood. Just be a man about it. And, and we're talking about man manhood mastery. We're talking about being mature, being accountable, being in nurturing being natural these are the things that we're dealing with this morning and i'm this morning i'm going to be dealing with accountability accountability that's what i'm talking about this morning we as as men men hold themselves accountable i'm gonna say that again for y'all men hold themselves accountable males don't want accountability are you holding yourself accountable for the things that you say, the things that you say, the things that you do, and, and the things that you want to achieve? We we telling the truth today, y'all. We telling the truth today. Fellas, I'm dealing with y'all all week. And then I'll get to the, the ladies next week. You know, when we deal with just being a woman, the miseducation of woman. And we're going to deal with them. But this week, it's about being mature. It's about being accountable. And it's about being nurturing and natural. Just being a man. Mastery. Have you mastered the the art of being accountable? Are there things that you uh, hold yourself accountable to? Is there a standard that you live your life by? I was, I was reading some um, posts today in, in, uh, on YouTube. And and uh, about some things that happened or that were going on, and they were talking about this certain um, athlete, and 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 this athlete had well two. I'm talking about two people. So and I hate to use athletes and entertainers because they're most that most people kind of recognize. So I'm not saying any names, but but the thing of it is about these two these two individuals, these two these two males, these two these two males, and, and um. Both of them were very uh, promiscuous, um, and 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 one wasn't held accountable for something he had done that was illegal. And I'm gonna put it like that, and I want to put it in that framework because I'm not. I don't want to talk specifically about him. I'm not gonna give his name, but he wasn't held accountable for his actions because. Of the person that he was even back then and that who he was going to become. We, we've got to be careful as men that we, that we don't use our status, our gifts, our uh, abilities to be able to get away with doing things because of who we are. And I know our society is is notorious for that. You can take a, a, a number of a number of politicians, you could take a number of educators, you could probably take excuse me, a businessmen that do things or get away with things just because of their status. But what it doesn't for me, it doesn't negate your accountability. And, and I think I think the the abuse of your position, your title, is something that we have to recognize as as men. I told y'all we t- we talking deep stuff this this week. It, this is no cotton candy stuff. This is about being who we are as men. If we say that we're going to be men, and we're going to walk in that power. That we have as men, we got to come with it. We've got we've got to be mature about it, and we've got to hold ourselves accountable. And and then each of us, as our brother, we have to hold them accountable. Now this this, this you know this this guy. I mean the what he's accused of, what he did, 
was ho- horrendous. It is despicable to me. And the fact that he wasn't held accountable by the individual or individuals that he did this to and it was swept under the rug. Oh, I'll give you a couple of dollars because I can. I can pay you off so that you don't say anything about it. And, and this isn't the first story like this. There's several other stories that are just like this. And 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 uh, these males get away with it because they've gotten away with it because of their status. Because of the amount of money that they've been able to obtain and pay off people. And, and it's to me, it, it, it's a shame that folks will are willing to accept being paid off. And 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 not even I'm trying to say this without saying it without them necessarily they being the beneficiaries, but what they've done is ruin someone's life for the rest of their life. And and we as men and and this guy has got to to me has got to live with that the rest of his life, knowing that the. That that the um, the residuals of what was done is is horrendous, and and it can't go away. Will not go away. I promise y'all. So we've got to be mature. We've got to be held account. We've got to hold ourselves to a standard. And as men, we we hold ourselves to a standard because we we have to be accountable for who we are, what we do, and the things that we things that we say, and the people. That we impact. So are you holding yourself accountable? That's what men do. Real men hold themselves accountable. Real men do what it is, says that they're going to do. Whether it's in the business business world. How you treat people. The way that you act. The way that you uh, are with people. Is it, 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 that that's going to determine... How you, you know, your your character is going to determine how people see you. Because people will still be talking about this gentleman years from now. And and it, it was, like I said, swept under the rug. It was kind of quiet. And now it's come back again. And, and we have to understand that we've got to be accountable. We've got to be accountable. The sun shining in the back of my head, y'all. Um, we've got to be held accountable. And and if you don't hold yourself accountable, then can you call yourself a man? This is real manhood stuff, y'all. I mean, I, I've I've listened to the conversations. I've listened to the people talk about relationships and how we uh, treat each other, how we do each other, and we've got to do better. That's in the in the business world. And also in 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 the in our personal lives, because they they will cross connect. Are you accountable? What are you accountable for? And, and I watched this little clip, and and then I'm done because I gotta go, I gotta go. I watched this little clip of um, it's a show that Malcolm Jamal Warner is on, and he plays this doctor. Um, matter of fact, I think he's the chief of, of surgery and he, he, him and, and one of his, um, I think his residents or something like that or a friend or whatever, get riding in the car and they get stopped by a white cop. Both of them are black. They get stopped by a white cop. Cop tells them to get out of the car and the, um, and he tells them to put their hands on the car and the dude that's with Malcolm Jamal Warner's character, st- he's popping off at the mouth. And Malcolm Jamal's character is trying, I mean, uh, character on the show is trying to calm him down. It's like, dude, come on, man. It's like, you know, what are you doing? You know, and so um, the the cop winds up getting hit by a scooter and winds up having to go to the hospital. And Malcolm Jamal Warner's character winds up having to be the doctor to say he has to save his life. And so they, they get into this conversation, Malcolm Jamal Warner and the guy that was with him. 
and they're talking about the situation. He's like, you saved this guy's life and, and you know, and, and this, that, and the other. And, and he's like, he's nothing but, a, you know, talking about him being a racist and everything like that. And he said, and Malcolm Jamal Warner's character says, hey, his, his, who he is has nothing to do with him being my patient. My first obligation is to take care of a patient regardless of whether they are, he said, saint or sinner. He said, I've got to, I've choose to be a, a, a righteous person is what he said, you know. And and then he, you know, they go on a little bit and he says, you know, Malcolm Jamal Warner's character says to him, he said, you know, he tells him about, you know, I'm a man of, you know, this. That. He said, what, what kind of man do you want to be? And we have to hold ourselves accountable, even if others don't want to hold themselves accountable. We have to hold ourselves accountable. And be who it is that we are, regardless of how someone else acts. That was the thing that I love so much about um, Malcolm X, Dr. King, Fred Hampton. They were who they were. They were going. They were who they were, regardless of what everybody else thought. They were who they were. They were accountable for who they were. So hold yourself accountable today. Whatever it is that you got to do today, hold yourself accountable. If you hold yourself accountable, then you, then you you will have that your character will never be in question. If you hold yourself accountable, your character will never be held in question. If you hold yourself accountable, your character will never be in question. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. We're here all week today. Just be a man about it. Just be a man about it. Just be a man about it. We're dealing with mature, accountable, nurturing, and natural men this week. Mastery, manhood mastery. That's what we're talking about this week. It's your boy. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a great day.